If you've seen one of my previous niche videos on uh, Fabulant, well, you know that I'm a big Fabulant fan. It's my favorite Lego series of all time, together with Lego Pirates from 1989. Well, a few months ago, I was contacted by a guy on Twitter or Instagram. Anyway, one of the social medias. And uh, he said, well, Julian, um, I've been following your videos. Do you still collect Fabulant? I said, of course. Because he said, well, my aunt and uncle have uh, at least 10 or 15 boxes of Fabulant from their, well, now adult children. So stuff from the 80s, uh, still mint inbox Fabulant. Are you interested? I said, sure. What are you asking? He said, well, I have to ask my aunt, but, um, <clears throat> well, she knows the value, I told her, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can at least come to an agreement and we'll get you a good deal. So I said, sure, keep me updated, keep me posted on these uh, Fabulant boxes, because of course I'd love to expand my Fabulant collection. Well, fast forward to a few months later, so I think July 2023, Joppe contacted me again, and he said, uh, well, bad news. <laughs> I said, what is it? My, uh, <laughs> my aunt, in an effort to uh, make the Fabulant collection ex easily portable and accessible and, let's say, easily transferable from a flea market to another place, she cut all the boxes. Yes, she cut all the boxes. She threw away all the innards and the manuals and she just put all the bricks, the Fabulant bricks, into one giant box. I said, what? What? <laughs> what? I did <laughs> um, Yeah, so for 30 years, 30 plus years, almost 40 years, she kept all the boxes intact and just when she's about to sell them and get a great payday, she decides to throw her money away because yeah uh fabulant is still worth something but i prefer my fabulant with a box and a manual and everything else so i said well uh, i guess i can't buy your fabulant then after all but luckily he managed to save one 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 box which also luckily i didn't already have because of course it could have been a double Wow, take a look at this. This is the Fabulant Firehouse. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, surprisingly lightweight because I gave it to my son. He, uh, he built it, it's downstairs. Uh, of course, I, um, I kept apart a few of, these, uh, of the smaller bits and pieces. But as you can see, this was in excellent condition. I mean, the plastic is still there, the manual, even the, the, the cardboard inert or inlay. Um, this is as fabulant collectors like to see it. So, um, yeah, um, of course, I went over to uh, Joppa's aunt and I said, what do you want? And she said, $100 reduce, 100 bucks, which in fairness is a great price. Um, as mentioned in my previous fabulant video, I've paid almost the same amount for just a very small figurine. Granted, still sealed, but still, uh, for a this is one of the biggest sets in the uh, entire Fabulant library. I think only the amusement park, or no, no, the mayor's house. The mayor's house is the biggest one, but uh, this is at, at least the second or third biggest set. So, 100 bucks in today's uh, economy and inflation wise, and of course, because it's retro and vintage and wanted. Just check your local eBay prices. Um, yeah, great deal. So um, in closing, I'd say thank you, Joppe, for contacting me. I wish I could have bought all 15 or 12 boxes. But in the end, this was better for my wallet. Just one new uh, addition to the Fabulant collection. So um, yeah, thank you. And if there's anyone else out there who has some Fabulant in the box with the manual left, Drop me a comment down below.